Hi, this is Letty. I'm going to give you an introduction to queries. Queries are an object in a database that is a permanent question. A question that you might want to ask over and over again, like, which of my employees make more than $50,000 a year? The answer may change from year to year or even month to month. Um, because the data is dynamic as you hire people or give raises, um, the answers could change. But that question might be something that you'd want to ask yourself every year. There are questions you might want to ask regularly, um, which, which customers haven't purchased from me in over six months, which customers did I have returned mail from so I can delete their addresses from my direct mailing, things like that. Most of the queries that you create, and I'm just going to go to the Create tab because that's where every new object starts, are called um, select queries. So there's actually two ways to call a basic query. One is calling it a select query, and another way is to call it a simple query. It's exactly the same thing. If you look at Query Wizard, you can see that it a simple query is the default choice for starting um, a type of query. I'm going to cancel that. 99.9% .9 of the time when you start a query, you don't really need a wizard. You're just going to go straight to Query Design View. And you're going to add any tables that have fields and data in them that you're interested in querying. So I'm going to the Show Tables dialog box always pops up as soon as you get in here. You add whatever table you want and you click Close. I added the table by double clicking. I do a lot of double clicking in Access. And notice that I'm just arranging the edge of this um, table so I can see all the fields. Down here, this is called the, the Query Grid. And you can see it looks a bit like data sheet view of a table. It's got columns and it's got rows. Now, when you want to query something, um, you just drop the field down here. And then if you want to select out only, say, female employees, then you would put criteria down here to help you with that. So let me show you how to do a trick. If I want to add all the fields in this table um, all at once, I can double click the name of the table up here. Notice that turns all the fields orange. Then I can click on the orange, hold my mouse down, drag and drop right on that first query column that um, grid is filled in now with all of the fields. And if I run the query now by clicking on the red exclamation point, the Run button, it's going to take me to data sheet view of this query. And what you can see is I've got 311 employees and I have no criteria, so it's really showing me everybody. Well, I'm going to click on this Design View icon and go back to Design View because if I'm interested in females only, I'm going to go under the gender column, under the gender column and in the criteria row, and I'm going to type an F because an F, and I'm going to press space and enter, quote F quote, double quotes if you can't see it well enough, is the syntax to say I'm looking for the text F. Now when I run the query, if you look down here, it says I only have 211 records. That's because it's only showing me females now because I asked for any records to be selected out with an F. Okay, that's the basic idea of queries is you put your criteria in the criteria row and you're able to select out just those records that fit the criteria.